Welcome to the prep report. We're coming to you from the city lunch here in uh, Courthouse Square in Lincoln, North Carolina. I'm your host, David Summer. With us this week, we have Coach Poniger from Lincoln High School. I'll here with us as always. It's Michael Christopher from the sports editor for the Lincoln Times News. So, Coach, last week you had Shelby uh, at Shelby, a uh, big game for you two. Uh, tell us a little bit what happened. I know it was a close game the first half. The second half didn't work out quite the way you wanted it, but in the first half, you know, you ran it right there. The first half, I thought we played real well. Uh, establishing the fullback, uh, moving the ball pretty good. I uh, jumped up to a, you know, they scored first on long pass. We jumped up to a 14-7 lead. And then uh, we fumbled on punt return, and then it just snowballed. Everything went, went south on us. Uh, they scored on that, tied up at halftime. Second half, we come out, pick off a pass, and then we got a punt blocked, and then we start fumbling the ball everywhere. And, you know, it. We, we never really could re recover. Uh, we have a young team. Uh, it, it's, it's tough for them right now to understand you got to fight through some adversity, and, and we didn't do that, and, and that really hurt us in the second half. I know you also had a few injuries that uh, popped up on you. Uh, were those pretty critical also? Well, when you look at it, uh, in the second half, our quarterback's been hurt. Our wing was hurt, our fullback was hurt, so three out of four people in the backfield that we started the season with were not playing in the second half. So that was, that was a big key for us. Um, when all those guys be back for uh, your coming up game, not this week, you're off this week, uh, but next weekend or the following week you have uh, State State for all guys. State 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 ready to go. State was homecoming game. We should have them all back. Uh, like I said, this, this open day coming at a great time. Yeah, banged up as we are, we needed we needed a little bit of break and uh, rest some injuries and heal some injuries. And yes, I, I expect them all back for the uh, safety. Right. Um, so the rest of your season, how do you see that playing? I mean, you got state and state, but I mean, conference play will be kicking up here pretty soon. How do you see the conference kicking out? Well, you know, I think the team to beat is East Lincoln. Uh, they're the defending conference champion. They went to the Western Finals, won the Western Finals. In my opinion, they're the team to beat. Uh, but, you know, I, I think our, our conference is very balanced. I'm looking at Bessemer City. I'm very impressed with Bessemer City this year. They're playing very good defense, but they're moving into football and they're winning ball games. I think right now they have the best record in our conference. Uh, I think they're 4 and 1. And, uh, and I think, like, like I said, they're probably playing as good as anybody in the league right now. Uh, after the Statesman game, we had we had enough conference play with Cheryl. Cheryl was the first conference game. You know, that's that's a that's a big game for us. That's an old rivalry with the Lake of it. I don't know how long it's been going on, but it's it's probably one of those 60, 70 year series. And uh, you know, we've got to go to Cheryl, and Cheryl is always a tough place to play. Uh, so you know, it, that's the way we're going to kick off uh, conference play is up at Cheryl. Nice. Hey, so you kind of have a young team. Uh, Talk a little bit about that, what the difference between you know, having a young team and having a more veteran established team that you had in the past. Just so you know, the team that done really well. Well, you got to take them slowly. you got to bring them along slowly. Uh, I don't think we have nine or ten seniors on this team. And a lot of a lot, a lot of our key personnel are juniors and sophomores. I know I, I looked on the field the other day, we were playing, you know, the game before Shelby, we were playing six sophomores on offense. And, and, you know, that's – Coach Harris used to always say, I'm forever. Every sophomore you play, you're going to have a mistake. Well, you know, that, that cost us this week against Shelby. But we're, we're playing young people. That's great for the future. Right now we're going through growing pains. And uh, I just think we just need to improve each week, learn a little bit each week, and, and understand this offense. And that, that's one of the big problems with this young crowd. We're changing offenses, we're changing defenses, and we're not near as far along as I'd like to be. But you got to take them slow with young people. You said you're changing offense. I mean, I guess the biggest problem being that you have them coming in running the new offense being the biggest challenge. Right. So well, it's, it's a challenge for everybody because we went from an eye offense and a passing offense. We're going to a, a double wing set option football. And we're, running, we're trying to run option football. There's more reach, there's more pressure on the quarterback, there's more things he has to learn and understand and offensively, you know, it's, it's a give and take type offense. You're going to take what the defense gives you. And, and we're still we're still working on that. Against Shelby, they were crashing the ends down. We kept giving it to the fullback. D. Uh, D. Lewis on that 19 carries. 
in the first half, Friday night, he probably shouldn't have a nine or ten because we misread a lot of reads. So that's what we're working on. Right. So, Michael, uh, last week we were at the. We played the game. Yeah, you were at the East Lincoln Bandit game uh, last week. Y'all still been what you saw out there. I mean, Coach Plunger said that you know, East Lincoln is the team to beat. And the conference up here, I mean, you have to put it with that. Or? I agree. That was the uh, that was the game against Bandies when they were ranked 10th in the uh, state poll. And it was a big win for East Lincoln squad. They won 40-12. Uh, what they did was get out of their elbows a little bit. Usually they're known for their passing. Uh, John Wilson took the second half. He took the snaps the quarterback. Carson Perry took most of the throws first half. Uh, led the offense to a 14-12 halftime lead. Real close. And he's offensively got it going with Trent Millsaps, their hard running back. But second half, uh, East Lincoln defense stepped up, shut down Mavis, Trojans to 64 total yards in the second half. Really had short field and just kind of had rushing scores. Uh, Josh Wilson had three rushing scores. Uh, Kendrick McElwain, I believe, scored. And Austin Colt just really took the low grade in the second half. It was a, a big win for that East Lincoln program. Gets the back of the track and too much good. Right. Uh, last week we had Coach Stilwell here uh, with us last week from North Lincoln. I know they took on Hickory. And that was going to be a pretty tough game for North Lincoln last week. Yeah, that was a 3A opponent in Hickory. And it was just uh, speed. What, what can you say about speed? You can't coach it. It's hard to catch. And that's what North Lincoln was trying to do was basically catch up. And, they had a, a good first half. They led, I believe, 6 nothing early in the first quarter, but second half turnovers and short field again kind of kind of hurt their chances in the second half. Uh, and then last, we had West Lincoln taking on Chase, and uh, another one that I know a lot of us picked in our predictions was West Lincoln. Uh, Chase came out on top against West Lincoln. West Lincoln, unfortunately, had a, an injury to their quarterback, Caleb Bill, in the uh, first half. And that really hurt their chances. He's going back for a pass. Uh, helmet comes and hits his throwing hand. And we believe it's a fracture. So he was out most of the game. And, and the running attack by West Lincoln had to, you know, take over. And, you know, once you're one-dimensional, it's kind of easy for Chase to figure out what was going on. So they, uh, they were, you know, got behind and just couldn't catch back up. All righty. Uh, yeah, but hopefully I can keep my comeback coming up. We'll start off and uh, start off with Coach first. Uh, we got Forest View at Burns, Coach. Hey, Dad. I see Forest View and Squeak. I think Burns has played a real tough non-conference schedule, but I saw Forest View earlier in the year, and I think they'll win. But it'll be a close game, and I think Forest View. I agree with that. I think Burns get better each progressive game. They're playing tough opponents, but I think Forest View is just too much. Yeah, I'll take course for you also. I mean, their running game's been good with the year, so we'll go with that. But next up, we have Ashbrook playing Crest, Mike. I, it's Crest all the way. I think that Ashbrook has had a tough schedule. They've had a rough couple weeks. I think that Crest is starting to come mid-season form. I, I just like Crest. Uh, coach Briggs, coach with us at Lincoln. Good coach. Uh, solid program. We scrimmaged Crest early in the year. Uh, I'm afraid Crest wins that one. Uh, we're going to keep the unanimous streak going. Uh, I'm taking Crest also. I mean, that's the big boy right now, and Ashbrook just had a tough time, you know, at the beginning of the year here. So, until they turn it around, i got to go with Crest also. Next up, we have North Lincoln playing Marvin Ridge. Uh, I was talking with Coach Stilwell this week, and unfortunately they've been bitten by the, uh, in, not injury, but the flu. Uh, I believe they had six starters on offense missed practice on Tuesday, three on defense. So with the sickness, you know, Coach Stillwell has got to look for some backups. He's got to find some more key players. Uh, Marvin Ridge didn't get a big one, unfortunately. You know, for the Knights, they just got to, you know, find some more playmakers. Yeah, I'm afraid Marvin Ridge, they're rolling. They're on a the roll. I think they're undefeated. Five right off. Yeah, five and zero. That's a tough task when you when you're missing some starters to to go to Marvin Ridge also and play. So I I, I go on Marvin Ridge. Should I take Marvin Ridge too? Also, next 